Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for Doom Patrol, Season 2, Episode 2. Yes, before we jump into that, I have fe uh, comments to feature from our patrons from Episode 5 and also a few um, from YouTube. First being executive producer Liz Sip, who says, Love the reaction, guys. Another great episode. Also love the steel and stone montage. Baby doll and yeah. Dorothy is not a good match, and they are the opposites of each other, and the repercussions of this little play date could be life-changing. Mm -hmm. Also, my man Larry cannot catch a break he when can. it comes to his family. He keeps hurting the people he loves. Can't wait for the next episode. Civil Nation says, It's weird how no one seems to appreciate the fact that Dorothy just watched her one best friend who had been with her all her life get murdered right in front of her. I think that's a valid point. I thought about that after we uh, reacted uh, the, to it. the wolf bear? Yeah, and also that's her last, like, legitimate tie to her so mom. Her mom. Yeah. Um, I feel like that's a super valid point. Yeah, that is. Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> it was so quick, though. We, we glanced There's over it. There's a lot to... Yeah. Yeah. Once sitting with it and reflecting, I feel like that's a completely valid yeah. point. Um, Bjorn comes through to say, This episode, man, the actor who plays Janet is incredible. To portray all her different personas so believable is amazing. Poor Larry. When you think he might get some closure, he gets beaten down again. Shame on his son, though. He himself is responsible for getting his son shot. Totally yeah. agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I am with Dorothy on this one. She was about to be burned alive by Baby Doll. The candle maker is always a last resort for her, and yes, Baby Doll has telekinesis. She just had no reason to use it before now. And um. most importantly, I want a Steel and Stone spinoff. RJ, your toaster face <laughs> lady comic killed me. <laughs> Love you guys. Stay safe. Until next time. Love you too. And thanks for stopping by to leave a comment. Yeah, appreciate it. Um, and then a couple comments from YouTube. Cody Zoom says, It's more messed up when you realize Dorothy told Candlemaker to basically murder Kay's childhood happiness and innocence. This episode solidified my dislike for Dorothy. Uh, I feel like that's valid too. Yeah. Uh, Teddy Peterson says, yay, I got a shout out. Oop, oop. Uh, they couldn't stop Candlemaker if they tried. He's a super powerful being like Thanos level type stuff. What? He also thumped Flaming Katie as well since she's the only one who killed Mandy the last thing Dorothy had left of her mother. Me personally, I side with Dorothy, but that's me. See, wow. getting different perspectives here. Yeah. Uh, Kiwi Brown comes through to say, thanks for the shout outs and another great reaction. You're making these crazy times more manageable. We appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, man. Um, and then DRN1011N says, that ending is crazy. Yeah, yeah it was. I was yeah, wondering too, because so many of you guys had said that you're super excited about the next episode, but you had to wait to get it to the end yeah. before the crazy happened. Yeah, because the candle maker came through and shut it down. That was insane. So, but now if he is as powerful, as super power, then our team is, is weak. Yes. Our team is super trash. The only person that they can probably get, well, it's two people that they can probably get. One is Mr. Nobody, who's still trapped in the damn thing. He probably could help to either trap the candle maker somewhere else, you know what I'm saying? I don't think so. Or we got to call it Justice League. Or, I mean, if Jane could get her shit together, she has a lot of... Stretchy Jane? No. Um, I mean, yes, yeah, she got some powers. She's got but you said they already killed the flamethrower lady. And it just killed baby, uh, baby, baby doll. doll who had the uh, telekinesis. So only really person that you got with superpowers is. We don't. We haven't met everybody though. Yeah, She's you got met so everybody, many people. Yeah. Um. So I mean, if I don't know. Well, so I guess she could be the only one that can help. Yeah. Um. And then Cami Death comes through to say, as far as I know, there is no cure for DID. This is going to mess up Jane. Yeah, with your stupid comment about killing one of them from the cure. <laughs> so dumb. Uh. <laughs> And then Cody Zoom adds, no cure though. <laughs> Alters can disappear over time, but mm. then eventually more pop up. So, no way. Oh, so if you kill them all, you might just get more. They come back? Or they can come back, yeah. Okay, or they can be dead. It's just not a cure, okay? Gotcha. It's not. Gotcha. Just keep taking drugs, I mean, that's what you got to do. Um, well, let's jump into episode six. You who? Any picked out pains in the ass down here? Where was she? The basement? Was Dorothy with her? No, nobody cares about Dorothy. Jane was in the basement. Come in this shit. You gonna help? Who cares about She's breathing. What the fuck happened? But there's something else you should see. Is it Dorothy playing dress up with Rita's skin? No. No, <laughs> there, there's a spaceship outside. There's a... What? Do you know these guys? In 1955. 
1985, the Bureau gave me funding for my Immortus Initiative, which included sending a research team into space. To do what? Research. I'm Larry Trainer. And you are? <laughs> Who are we? We are... The Pioneers of the Uncharted! The name's Zip. Hotshot pilot? Nothing scares me. <laughs> That marriage. The name's Spex. I'm the brains of the op. And a heartbreaker to boot. And my name is Moscow. The Russian, Russian one. one! What is benevolent genius now, Scalder? He's, uh, he's a little tied up at the moment. So we've been gone for three generations and he's not here. Well, you didn't call. Well, how, how would he know? Where do they take? There. Come out! Dorothy! Oh shit! Dorothy! Dorothy! It was the cattle maker. I'm sorry. I'm leaving. You had a fucking spaceship in this garage the whole time. When I lost contact with the first <laughs> ship, I saw no reason to use the second. It doesn't work. Hey, everything handicap accessible too. He's smart. He's taking a hit. Uh, uh, and 30 years later, you still couldn't build me a working hand. Right. What was the best I could right. have what I get, please? And in the 50s, science still hadn't mastered basic rocketry, so I mixed my science with a little bit of borrowed magic. He ain't got no space suit or nothing. Does she have any idea what I've done for her? You have a negative spirit. It seems we have much to discuss. Oh my gosh! Oh, is Larry gonna have a person? Seems we have much. Is Larry gonna have a person? Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, who is he? Well, right. We can be friends. They can be. I mean, that's his best friend. Yeah. Isabel's so she can have another friend. A Gertrude. Before we learned to contain the radiation in our skin. Yeah. Ooh, so he can we get, get his skin back. Shit I told you I'd die before I pay off my bills, didn't I? Jokes. Nice defense. There's no fix for her, so she's just like, well, you know. They had a you child space suit like a on the space plane. Yeah. It's one of you to so many words. As you grow up, so do I. This is all your fault. Seriously? How could you let this happen? I'm gonna level with you, son. That kind of money is what makes you possible. Yeah, it'd be a little bitch, man. Like, you don't want to help for nothing. You don't want to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? But he did all that for his son, which I understand. But you can't do nothing for, like, nothing? Nothing. Your son that asked you, like, a million times to do shit. Well, the way I see it, the blob lady didn't actually seem to enjoy being so big. Which means she probably started off small, but her dress was fancy. Like, she wanted to be seen. So, the blob lady has been craving <laughs> attention for so long. Uh, she is terrified that when people see what she is, what she really is, they are going to run screaming because she is hideous inside and out. Just like completely unlovable, unlookable, unfuckable. And then everything her mother always said about her would be proven true. Thank you. I will work on that. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. She's very, pretty accurate. She didn't say shit, but she can say fuckable. I found my nemesis. My daughter lost her mom too when she was young. Too young to remember much of her at all, I'm guessing. But from what I can tell, she turned out to be a really good person. You must promise me you will never make another wish for as long as you live. I promise. You can't. Come on, man. Play emotion is the reason why she keeps making I wishes. Know. Christ, that's sad. Unless you lock her ass up away from people that can fuck with her emotions. Just kick me. For someone who's never been inside it. Miranda. The one and only. I thought you killed yourself. I did. I threw my battered body down the well, and in time, I was reborn. 
I'll show you what the girl wants. <laughs> episode six of doom patrol and i like jane is stepping aside to let the primary the other primary um what was her name Mir miranda step up and let's see what miranda does to show us what the girl actually wants i like that larry has found more information about the negative spirit that there is a possibility he could come up out the bandages but you know who knows if he can get that done he i didn't see him ask for any um uh, Razu Gold training on how to become one with that. Um, the 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 chief and Cliff. What did he just knock him out for now? Could that be foreshadowing for what we just seen in this episode about the stupid Evil virus in parasite. space? Yeah, yeah, that takes over your thing. Could be possible, or could this just be another Niles Colder? dumb exercise experiment thing that he does all the time without telling nobody nothing and then apologize for it later. For Cliff. I don't know, but that was messed up that he shot him out there into space by itself. But his daughter, I don't know what we're going to do. Because there is no way she can promise a thousand promises to never get uh, make another wish, but there's no way you can stop that. And so I don't know what we do with that. Yeah, I mean, as far as that goes, I feel like eliminating the candle maker is the only way to... Address How? that. I'm just saying. Only she probably be the only I mean, one that can. We, they, we do, we're able to take out Manny, so there is a, an ability to take out the candle maker. Yeah, it's just I think that's the only way. Sure Maybe she way. can make it go away. She no, can wish I mean, it away. Wish him away. I don't think that would work. No. But um, yeah, the I, I loved having uh the Russian astronaut having the same thing that Larry did, so he's able to get some insight there. I loved how. You could see the stark contrast between the two of them in which Larry was, could not get over the fact that she mastered everything in five years and he's been like struggling with this. For like 80 years. Right. Uh, I thought that was really good. I thought she had some very good insight and I like though that Larry wants to stick with his humanity um, whereas the other astronaut is kind of... Uh, moving away, just staying her own entity. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I like that contrast too. I absolutely loved all the Jane parts, like seeing the underground. Um, I like the music score, especially at the end. It like gave me goosebumps. I was like, ooh. Yeah. Um, and then Miranda coming out of the well scared the shit out of me. Yeah. Um, but which means they're they're basically they're they don't die. There's no way for them to die. I mean, they die, but. They can be reborn. They can come back, but just like uh, Miranda did. So um, I, I'm not thrilled though, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out or uh, guess where this is going. But I don't like Jane being replaced. Like I'm not feeling that, and I don't know. Miranda doesn't seem like she has. I don't know. The vibe of her seems like she may not have the best intentions, um, and I'm wondering if that's going to be like lashing out at the squad because does she want to go maybe she wants to go kill Kay's daddy like is that a thing is her dad still alive maybe that's what the girl wants finally killing her dad herself and then hey other than that we haven't seen really anything i mean to me switching switching people right now after the situation that just happened would be something going after dorothy if anybody like yeah. you know but um, i mean They've been talking about what the girl really wants before Dorothy, so I don't know what that means. I don't know what what the girl really wants. I guess we'll find out. But like you said, there is no no point to what's happening this season here, other than people building that we have again with the team struggling with their own individual uh, awareness. Like season one, everybody was just. Still doing the same thing, emotions. I don't know where I fit in, you know, here in the world. And they're still doing it right now, too. And there is no overarching bad guy like it was in season one with Mr. Nobody. Here is just, you know, you got the chief's daughter. Yeah, she can sometimes, if she get mad enough, make a bad guy happen. But other than that, there's really nothing impacting the earth right now. Yeah, there's no... And then um, um, Cyborg, his situation, you know, he's still going through that. That's still teeter-tottering around. 
what we're going to get to. So I don't know what, where that's going. I don't know what's happening over there. Over there, yeah. Yeah. I always forget about the cyborg. Yeah, part. I don't know what's happening. Like over there. it seems so disconnected. <laughs> it seems like they're not even. Yeah, it has nothing to do with, with what anything. We're doing um, over. and then, yeah, Rita too, still trying to be figure wanted. out what her biography yeah. is and what her purpose is. But that too. was a great breakdown. What that other girl told her. It's yeah. exactly what she's searching for. She's yeah. been dealing with it's exactly it. So how did she get too. over there? I don't know. But uh, yeah, good episode. Yeah. Uh, I'll be interested to see what Miranda's intentions are and why she decided to show yeah. up. So I think that's that what I'm and, s- and Chief. Yeah, what the fuck is he doing? Yeah, those two things are like. What, what are, are you doing? doing? Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. is what this? And I, uh, it's so annoying too because uh, from a character development standpoint, like Cliff just had this like epiphany. Like uh, he just came to like. All right, accepting Dorothy and being like, we are a family, and then fucking she throws him out the damn shuttle again, and now yeah. he's gonna be blazing pissed again yeah, and not it's, trusting. It's crazy. They're making it very difficult yeah. for them to amend their relationship there. Like, I don't know. What's yeah. the way? I hope. I hope it wasn't something intentionally. I hope he has like he's possessed or like inhaled a creature or something and it's being controlled because. This would be so fucking unforgivable unforgivable at this point if you, yeah. like, betrayed Cliff again. Yeah. Like, yeah. come on. Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> it's only, what, three episodes left? Seven, eight, and nine? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction 4, Doom Patrol Season 2, Episode 6. And until next time, people, peace.